Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his name. Praise his name. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Good morning. This is Autumn Nims, president and founder of International Women's Ministries. And I wanted to come on today and pray. Today is the National Day of Prayer. And it is an honor for me today to come and to draw near to the Lord and to seek his face today for our city, our nation, and our world. Amen. I am so um, glad to be here with you and to be a to um, pray into the things that are happening around the world. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here talking because I want to spend time praying. So um, the theme or the topic that the Lord has led me to pray about today, and you guys can hold me up in prayer later, I will be going um, to the town square here in Charlottesville, Virginia, um, what we call Court Square, and I'll be joining with other Christian leaders to um, pray today. And I specifically have been assigned to pray for the arts and entertainment sector, and um, I, the Lord has laid some things on my heart for that. And today, specifically, I want to pray against child pornography and pornography in general. And I want to pray that God would raise up a mighty generation of warriors who would not only rescue children from child pornography, but also to lead people into freedom in Christ. Um, we know that this is an epidemic. We know that the dark web carries some very dark things that people can corrupt their hearts and minds with. And I just want to pray about that today. Um, I know that the Lord can turn this. I know that the Lord can change and turn hearts, and that's what I want to pray about today. So thank you for joining me. I have some coffee with me. The pollen here in Virginia is pretty bad today, so I may need to sip as I pray just because I keep losing my voice, but praise the Lord, I can pray. Amen. We can all pray. If, if you don't feel like you are called to anything, you can pray. We are all called to pray. And prayer is a critical part and a critical discipline in the Christian life that we should all um, feel compelled to do. I pray in the mornings. I pray throughout the day. I pray in the evenings. Um, and you can talk to God anytime. You don't have to have a special place to pray. You can stop and pray wherever you are. And so I'm glad for that. And I praise the Lord for that. So let's pray. Join with me as I pray into the arts and entertainment se sector of our city, of our nation, that God would intervene. But I want to start by just praising the Lord and worshiping him. Father, I just come before you thanking you and praising you, exalting your holy name. I thank you, Father God, that you are worthy of all glory and honor and praise. And you have said in your word, wherever two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst of them. And so, Lord, as I pray right now, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you, Father God, would infiltrate 
would help believers, would raise up believers to rescue children from sex trafficking. Father God, you are able, you are able, Father God, to rescue children from sex trafficking. Father God, I pray that believers would take up this cause. Lord, I lift up the missionaries right now that I know, Sol, Sol Balbero, who rescues children from sex trafficking, who pulls them out of the very pit of hell, brings them under her wing, counsels them, teaches them, gives them education, sets them forth in restoration. By your power, Lord, I pray that you would continue to make provision for Sol Balbero. Lord, the evil that is being perpetuated against our children in the name of entertainment, I pray, Father God, that you would block every attempt of Satan to um, touch the hearts and lives and minds of our children. Protect the hearts and lives and minds of the children in this city, of the children in this nation, Lord. We know that what Satan means for evil, Lord, you are able to turn around for the good. And so, Lord, I pray that you will restore lives unto yourself. Rescue children, O oh God. Rescue children, O oh God. What Satan has meant for evil, Lord, you bring about restoration. You raise up a mighty um, warrior spirit within the body of Christ to save our children, protect our children from social media, from, from um, pornography on television, from pornography on YouTube even, Lord. I've, I've heard, Father God, and I've read that it is so subtle that a, a child's mind cannot even distinguish what they are watching between a cartoon and real life and pornography. And so, Lord, I pray, give our children's minds to see into what is happening in our nation and in our world and entertainment. Protect their hearts and minds. Father God, we know that pornography degrades human beings, your image, Father God. We know that pornography is abusive to your image. We know, Father God, that pornography is addictive, O oh Lord. And I pray for the men and the women who are involved in this to be freed from it, that that stronghold would be broken over them. Father God, that you, O oh Lord, would be their strength and their shield that this bondage, this stronghold, this addictive behavior, O oh Lord, will no longer have a hold on those who are participating. Father God, I pray, break the works of Satan over the hearts and lives of those who are enslaved to pornography. For the women and children who have been trafficked, for the for the little boys that have been trafficked into pornography, Lord, rescue them. Use us, Father God, to rescue them. Lord, I pray, give law enforcement everything they need to go into these dark places and pull the hurting, the wounded, and the babies out of this hell. Rescue them, oh Lord. Father God, I pray that creation itself would be set free from the bondage of corruption and that we would obtain the freedom and the glory that is available to the children of God. Father God, that you would destroy the works of the enemy in the area of arts and entertainment in our culture and in our nation. Let us pursue, Father God, the enemy and overtake him. Father God, I pray for victory. I pray for holiness amongst our people. Father God, I pray for a glorious victory and glorious works that would be done in your name. I pray for believers to rise up 
I pray for believers to rise up in the entertainment sector, that they would be in the forefront of producing godly material that penetrates the hearts and minds of the people. Father God, I pray for I pray for those that love you as singers to rise up and that it will cross cultural boundaries that the music, oh Lord, would draw people unto yourself, would draw people to the very heart of God. Father God, I pray that those who teach and those who preach would preach with unction, anointing, not for entertainment, but to change hearts and lives. Lord, I pray for those who have a platform on social media. I pray for those who have a platform on the television. I pray for those who may have worldwide platforms, Lord, who are godly, who can influence, Lord. I pray that they would use it for your glory to turn hearts and lives back to you. Lord, I believe the time is drawing near when your coming is evident. The evidence is all around us that you are coming. The signs of the times are here. Lord, let us turn from our wicked ways. Let us close our ears to the evil that is around us. Let us close, Father God, our hearts to those things that would seek to take us away from you. But Lord, let us open our ears to your voice. Let us open our eyes to see what it is you have to say to us. Father God, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we would be careful what we watch, that we would be careful what we participate in. Lord, that we would be bold in our faith, strong enough to be countercultural, strong enough to stand and be a voice in the face of evil. Lord, protect the hearts and lives of our children. Protect our young women. Protect our young men. Lord, raise up godly leaders, Father God, in our communities, in our nation, with godly wisdom. Lord, help us to be a people of the word and not a people of the television. <laughs> Help us to be a people of worship and not a people of music that draws our hearts away from you. Help us to be a people using our God-given talents and our God-given creativity to worship you, to lift your name up, to exalt your name on high. Help us, Father God, to stand in the gap for those who are weak. Help us to pray for those who need strength to overcome these addictions, to overcome the desires, the fleshly desires that the world would throw at them. Redeem the time, O oh Lord. Redeem those who are lost and dying and struggling with all types of addictions. Redeem them. Pour your spirit out on our city, out on our nation. Draw us close to you. Help us, O oh Lord. We cannot do this alone. We have to be bold as lions. We have to be strong. We need your strength, Holy Spirit. We need your wisdom to walk in this day and time. To live as believers before you. So use us, O oh Lord. Help us to stand on the word of God. 
Help us to be bold and speak out, Lord, even when it's not popular. Lord, help us to stand with godly wisdom. Help us to walk in holiness and sanctification before you. Lord, help us to abide in you because when we abide in you, you abide in us. And apart from you, Lord, we can do nothing. So Lord, help us. Lord, I pray that we will speak your glorious name from the lowest valley to the highest mountaintop. I pray that we will not be shy about it. I pray that the whole earth would be filled with the glory and the knowledge of you, O oh Lord. Just as the waters cover the sea, your name would cover the earth and that all would have the chance and the opportunity to hear your name and your voice. Because you are beautiful beyond description. You are marvelous. You are glorious. And one day every knee will bow before you and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord, whether you know him or not. Make him your king today. Make him the king of your life. Surrender to him today. Turn from evil. Exalt his name. Let his name be forever on your lips. Oh, Lord, that we would be holy as you are holy. We ask these things in your holy, precious name. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining me. My name is Autumn Nims, and I am the president of International Women's Ministries. And at 2 p.m., another one of my team members will be on to pray um, again and so I hope that you will join us at 2 p.m. again to pray on this national day of prayer. If you can't, I pray that you will be in your prayer closet today or you will be praying as you're going about your daily tasks or you will be calling on the Lord for this nation and this city and let's all join together and pray as mighty warriors for Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you.